Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Edge. I'm Patrick and today I'm here to talk to you about computer clients. You may have heard of the terms thick client, thin client, or zero client before, but what do they mean and why should you use each one? Let's dive in. To cover the basics, all clients are essentially computers. They need to have a processor, some memory, and to be able to connect to a few peripherals like a mouse, keyboard, or monitor. But that's pretty much where the similarities end. First up is the thick client, which is essentially a traditional computer. It has a storage drive and an operating system, like Windows or Linux, and applications are installed on it. Everything is loaded from the local storage drive inside the system, and it doesn't require connection to the server or the internet to run applications from that storage drive. You can, of course, access data from a server, but thick clients run independently, meaning they can still be used if you unplug the ethernet or turn off the Wi-Fi. This works fine if your computing network consists of just a few systems, but in enterprise environments, there might be hundreds or even thousands of computers in use all over the office or the off-carpet areas, like manufacturing lines, warehouses, vehicles, power stations, and so on. Managing all of those computers, applying security updates, and even simply keeping track of them all can be a daunting task. Enter our next two types of devices, thin and zero clients. Thin clients are typically much more stripped down. These computers often still have a storage drive on them to host skeleton operating systems and store configuration settings, but they don't have any data or applications installed directly on them. Instead, thin clients connect to a central server to boot and rely on that server to serve up the software applications and data that users need. So it's actually the server that's running the applications, and the computer is essentially just acting as a terminal to facilitate this connection and let the user see and work within their applications. Finally, that brings us to zero clients. You can probably guess from the name at this point that there is even less to this type of computer. These systems also rely on a connection to a server, but they go one step further. They don't have any storage drive at all. When zero clients are turned on, they actually use firmware to boot off the network and connect to the server, then download what's needed directly into memory rather than a hard drive. This means they don't retain an operating system or configuration settings, so it's up to the server to identify the computer and decide what content to serve to that user. All of the systems from OnLogic are built to order and can be configured to work with any of these client types. In addition to offering Microsoft Windows or Linux pre-installed on just about every system we sell, we've partnered with companies like iGel and Thin Manager to offer robust, pre-certified, thin and zero client solutions that work out of the box. Stay tuned for more about those solutions in a future video. Hopefully this has helped explain how these client types differ. As always, if you have any questions or would like to learn more, you can always reach out to our team to discuss a particular project you're working on. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Tech Edge.